So, once upon a time, there was a little crab, and her name was Maya. We rescued her from Petco, uh, maybe five months ago or something, and when we got her, she was kind of gimpy. Her little eye stalk was, um, almost not there. She'd obviously gotten into some sort of fight. Uh, but we rescued her and took her home, and last week she passed away. So we took a little day trip out to Port Aransas, and I buried her in the sand next to the shoreline. And we celebrated her little life. We took the dog out and threw the ball for him in the ocean. This is the second time Zeus has ever been to the ocean, and he really likes it. He's super cute, just running around, shaking himself, being adorable. But, uh, yeah, it was a nice little day trip. It was kind of sad, but it was also pretty good because it was nice to get out of the house. Uh, I work from home, I think I've said that. Uh, and lately I've been working lots of overtime. So it was really, really nice to get in the car and just drive for a few hours and arrive at the, the lovely ocean. Um, we had some lunch at a little place. Uh, where did we eat? Oh, it was like a little, I forget the name of the place, but it was a long, like the major road in Port Aransas. And we shared a plate of little shrimps and things and had a couple of beers. And uh, and then, oh, that was actually right before, right before we went to the, to the ocean itself. And uh, after three hours or so, we work up an appetite of driving and looking at scenery. You get kind of hungry looking at, looking at a whole bunch of road and, and such. Um. Yeah, uh, this is a drawing. <laughs> I'm I'm into drawing these little uh, dudes. They're they're like little seahorses, but not. I don't know. I don't know what they are, but I can't stop drawing them. And uh, this is one that I did last week. Uh, I'm also really getting the hang of watercolors and layering watercolors so that the paint is not like splotchy. Uh, I really like splotchy watercolor aesthetic for things like like skies and stuff or maybe grass like more natural things but when I'm drawing things just to get the color down just to fill things in splotchy watercolors kind of drive me nuts. Um, I've been watching this guy Scott Teplin for a little bit, uh, and I really appreciate the way he's able to layer watercolors so that the color is just so smooth and rich. Um, so I've been practicing that a little bit on drawings such as these. And I also really like the fact that you can ink over watercolors. Gouache is a little harder since it's more matte, I guess, um, but, but with watercolors it's it's like the, the color becomes part of the paper, so you're essentially drawing on top of the paper uh, instead of paint, which, which does a body good. So, uh, yeah. And, um, I don't know. I don't know. What else? What else is happening? Um, hmm. I guess... I uh, am taking a semester off of school. I'm also working a whole lot these days. I think I did just mention that I'm working overtime, but um, so it's really nice to be able to focus on reading books that I want to read again and focus on making art in my free time. Uh, it's important to give yourself 
time off to do stuff that you want to do. I mean, I do want to finish my degree at some point, and I'm really, really close to finishing it. It's just an associate's degree, but um, it's nice to have a little break. I've been taking classes nonstop, I guess minus summer semesters, but uh, I really like the classroom, and it's hard to find that specific class that I really like during the summer. So I usually take summers off, but um, anyway... It's been, it's been sort of relaxing to not have to do stuff that, you know, I'm being told to do. It's nice to do stuff that I'm telling myself to do instead. Yada, yada, yada. But, uh, I don't know. I might make a book out of these little guys. They just keep coming into me, coming into my brain. I really like, I really like drawing them. I don't know. They should have some sort of name, but I haven't come up with it yet. And that's okay. Maybe, maybe someday I will figure it out. Also, uh, we may have gotten a new family member on the way back from Port Aransas. He or she doesn't have a name yet. When she's really tiny, he or she is really tiny, very active, very adorable. Um, you can see here she's trying to test the limits of our bigger crab, Al, named after Fat Albert, because this dude just eats forever. He eats anything I put out. And Al wasn't having it, because he's Alpha Crab. Uh, but yeah. Life goes on, and, and, and so does our little crab family.